day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. After that, God was taken out of that movement and the movement got stagnant and it actually went backwards. Well, I think I think I think the, the, the a lot of things came out of it, the civil rights bill and all that. But what we did allude to earlier is if Thank if you, you can you hear me? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the the point I'm saying is that we as as a black community, some black in the community took advantage and moved forward as far as from the, you know, moving to the education, the jobs and everything else. And then some did not move. And some moved into what we're doing today where some were shooting and killing each other. Uh, <clears throat> we moved into crack and we moved into drugs. There's some things that that you have to play a part in too. You know what I mean? Civil rights bill, the amendments and all that stuff is meant to shift the narrative to equalize the, the, or level the playing field, but you can't give room, you can't go back to secular things such as getting high, drunk, shooting, robbing, dropping out of school. If you don't do those type of, you don't take advantage of the things that the doors were open to do, you're gonna you're gonna continue to be where they call the animal, the thug. But, but, but the yeah. question becomes, without salvation and being born again, how are you not gonna do it? You, you, well, you I agree with you that, but see, that, but that, that, that that's two different things, there, right? I'm trying to say it's the it's civil right movement, thing. the civil right movement, is a secular. Had God, you know, I mean, the civil right movement, we had Martin Luther King leading it, and he put God in it. But the, the, the secular part, the government part, is not a Christian movement. It's a government movement. But if, if we, the body of Christ, was still supposed to do the commissioning and preaching and ministering to our youth, to our community, to grow into things of Christ. In other words, to put God in it, in our personal life. Because they ain't going to get it from the government. You're not going to get anything. Your amendment does not change the heart of somebody who don't give a darn about you. Uh, your laws is not going to change the heart of a racist or a bigot. They it's didn't. not. But they didn't. we as a church, if we don't sit there, not only get involved with these movements, but also continue to get involved with the community and preaching the gospel and encouraging people to come and change their hearts, because that's our job, and that job doesn't stop. It really doesn't, it doesn't pass. And be separate. There is no parallel between the world systems, the world governments, and the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is an everlasting kingdom. The world systems are already destined, predestined for destruction. So it's not an issue where we can build them or even prop them up. If we're involved in them, they're going to operate better. On their own, they're going to corrupt, just like the United States of America is doing right now. Our issue is not so much the world system as it is, as the young man said earlier, the, 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 the body of Christ sucks. The body of Christ is in terrible shape. We're, we're getting better, but there had to be those disclosures like the one we fought with. There had to be those kinds of, that we have to go through that process where he's cleansing the house. We have to provide for the people or an attractive picture of what the kingdom looks like. But we're not trying to, I mean, I, I say we're not. I, I may be wrong on this, but I don't think the intent is to improve the world system. I think the intent is to have the kingdom of God come to the fullness of its potential and manifest in the glory of God in the earth so that people in the world systems that are failing will be inclined to joining our kingdom and coming out of the world system. Hey, so, hey, hey brother, uh, Elder, I will submit to you the reversal is that our changing and putting in the hearts of people the world system getting better is a bad product of that effort. You know what I mean? It's just a bad product. If if I get more Christian presidents that are believing, true believers and operating authority of Christ, that's a bad product for our society. If we that's get more government people into Christ, 
that's a byproduct of mm -hmm. change in the society. But and I agree with you hundred percent. The presence is, of God is, is, is life giving, but it's not the in, it's not the intent. You know what I'm saying? It's not intent to make a no, better. It, world. It, it, it's, the it's, the it's, intent is not this world. I agree with you. That that's that's what he's saying. He's everything else is a byproduct. The most right. thing is eternal life, changing toward Christ, changing toward the image, to conforming to the image of Him. That's our job, right? Amen. Amen. And, and look, this commission. What you gonna say, brother? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna share this slide. What you got? What you got? Well, it's just it, it, in my mind, government and 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 Christianity are oxymorons. <laughs> they just can't go together. <laughs> but they really but, can't. But but I understand what you're saying. Yeah. That that if you have somebody who has uh, I don't think you can. I don't think you can be. A full-time Christian and being government, I just can't. I, it just doesn't. When I look at government, it just you, you just can't because you're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to give up some some of your beliefs and some of <laughs> your fu I, fundamental I beliefs. I, I don't know because I, I, I know because because this is the thing. You can't support everything. And there's always people that that are on two opposite sides, three, four, five different things, and so you going to want to support one, and you can't support the other, you know. But but to be, I, don't, I just I, it just doesn't make so, sense to me. Sep separate but, the two. I I I this only way I'm gonna disagree with you is this: politics and the embeddedness of stuff like racism and, and all that other junk is in government, is in politics. The If the people's hearts are changed, right, through Christ, the government in itself, the institution of the government itself is providing service such as such as the police, the wrong way, <laughs> but I mean, they are good police officers, right? You agree with that, right? Services such as Fire department uh, services. Is, uh, how can you? Oh, go ahead. You you yeah, you, you were stuck for, for a minute. Uh, you you were you froze back for like this for a minute. Okay, I'm saying is the <laughs> services of the government are good services. I mean, you can't say that, right? You can't say the postal service, the fire department, the police department, welfare, uh, FEMA. Things that the government is supposed to provide, that's not a negative. The government itself is not negative. It's the politics and the racism that is yes. incorporated inside of it. We need yeah. to. It's the corruption. We, we, our government. job is to remove that job through the preaching of the gospel. Okay, okay can but, I say this then? Based off that, so, so are we going to say that the implementation of Christianity? in the United States of America is corrupt. Is that what we're saying here? Yes. I'm, saying is, yes. I'm saying is that the okay. corruption uh -huh. has to okay. do the administrative part of the church. We got it. We got it. Because they brought, that, they brought that racism in there. We, that, that book I said stamped from the beginning. They even try to justify racism through the Bible. You know? I they agree. Also I agree. To, yeah. So it's it's the people, but it's not the it's not the concept. Even you know when we read that script in, in Romans seven, where he said, "I find that the law is good, but it's me <laughs> and my flesh." That's where the problem is, and I think that's what we have a problem identifying in this society. People are fleshly. People are carnal minded, opposed to spiritually minded. Well, in in a secular realm, that's the expectation. In the church is not, and I think yeah. what we addressed earlier was the fallacies that we're seeing in the household of God. In our church, in the household of God, in the world system, I expect all to hate each other in the world system. Yeah. I expect yeah. all the, the devices of men to be played out in yeah. the world system. In the yeah. church, it, it needs to be cleansed. It, it look, be, the church has to be fixed, and God is doing that. Exactly, Elder. Look, and look. Here's your commission as as the church. Read that for us, and let ain't got it done. Then the eleven disciples went away unto Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. 
And Jesus came and spake to them, saying, All power is given to me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. In Acts. Acts 1 and 8. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and Judea and in Samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth. Uttermost part of the earth. And as a, it sounds like me is that if we do what he tell us to do and tell people to observe what he told us to do, then, then I, they'll be on track. But if the church is, is telling people to do what society tells them to do, what racism tells them what to do, what hatred and jealousy and greed and everything else tells them to do, then they're not doing what God told them to do. And what's, what's the commandment that he gave us? What was the commandment? The love, great, love God with all our heart, the soul and our mind. Love, love one another too, right? And love, love each other and love each other. Yeah. Right. Love my neighbor so, as I said. So, so that means that I, I shouldn't be shooting my brother, whether he's black or white or red or blue. No, Huh? I shouldn't be grabbing somebody off the street just because I think he could be a, a criminal and, and then, then I'd be abusive toward him. Right? Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. There's so <laughs> many things that if we talk, if we talk this thing the way that they say teaching them what those things that I taught you, right? It's one of the, the end of the scripture is teaching the people in the world system what I taught you to observe. Exactly. And if we did that and, and still do it in the God see. And I maybe maybe that's where I'm kind of hardcore and maybe wrong, but I don't see teaching this side from Christ. You know what I'm saying? I, I, on a personal note, I know it's taught and, and it has been. People, the world system capital copied a lot of the principles that are in the kingdom, but they can't bring it to pass because they don't have the hearts to go along with the principles. So eventually, they corrupt and fall, fall away. But if we teach Christ, then they get what they need. If they accept him, they get what they need to comply with and exceed the standards that are taught. And well, that's what we were you seeing. know, that, that's been the, the church's problem. We've been getting people saved, and that's been it. <laughs> Come on. The, 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 the problem is we have a bunch of babies running around, mm -hmm. and we ain't got no parents, wow. no caretakers for these babies. Wow. That's the problem. There's nobody that is showing these people who they are in Christ right. Jesus. Right. There's nobody, there's nobody perfecting the saints uh -uh. really anymore. They're yeah. they're just we're we're man we're we're so far off of of the mark. Man, it just pains my soul. Mm -hmm. You know that that these people. Are... Oh, you went mute. Well, I went mute. not that's a false prophet right there uh -oh. they're saying things that that are supposed to be being of god and no different than in jeremiah god said i didn't say that come on yeah. now i didn't say that those aren't my words those are false prophets so <laughs> the bible even says you know be aware there's going to be people that's going to come in my name and they are not going to be me come on they are brother. not going to be me these people are in these 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 pulpits talking great things saying great things yeah. using god's word but to not benefit god not that god gets the glory but that yeah. they get the glory exactly. that they get the benefits of it you know and a byproduct of it is that you got people stuck in the wilderness yes sir. that's what you have they're what, what, stuck what? there waiting on another generation to come along so that they can go into the promised land. The, 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 the.